Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back at the tabletop with some cool stuff from Commando Store. Yes, before you, we have some super cool surplus, and we're going to talk about it, but uh, this one today is going to be a quick one. No sponsorship or nothing like that. I'm not in their pocket. They have no idea I exist, um, but they do seem to be super cool guys. They've got a great website that sells super cool kit, and uh, I've always been a huge fan of Military Surplus because it's excellent, tried-and-true, proven equipment. Uh, that has been there and done that, and while it might not be the latest and greatest or most highest speed and lowest of drag or the Gucciest of gear, perhaps, it's very affordable, it's very attainable, it's high quality, time-tested, and you can get a loadout set up for the modern Minuteman of today with the gear of olden days and kit yourself out completely head-to-toe and even the whole family for less than like the cost of a kitted cry precision plate carrier. Um, and that's cool, that's sick, that's based. And all of this stuff is still useful as much as it has ever been. And a lot of people forget that. A lot of people need the latest and greatest and what all the cool kids on Instagram got. But if you showed up to the party wearing this, you got my respect. So I recently acquired this equipment from Commando Store through one of their gumball giveaways. Uh, they do this thing from time to time where they take a whole bunch of stuff from the warehouse, anywhere from balaclavas all the way up to night vision and a bunch of stuff in between. And again, it's all surplus related. Uh, well, not all of it in theory. Uh, even some of the stuff that I got, well, one of the things I got is not necessarily surplus related, but at the same time, it still kind of is. Um, and we'll get to it. Stay tuned. But you can buy these gumballs, these virtual gumballs, all right? And that's like your raffle ticket. And I believe you can buy them one at a time, three at a time, five at a time. I don't know that there's a max per customer. Um, but in theory, I guess maybe you could buy all of them and win everything. But you're stated to receive in value of product more than what you pay for the gumballs uh, almost as a guarantee and it's super cool because it's like a mystery box and it shows up and you don't know what you got and uh, it's exciting and you end up with some cool stuff when it's all said and done and uh, I bought three gumballs and this is the stuff that I got in the box from Commando Store and uh, let's take a look. And in case any of you are wondering, uh, the three gumballs that I purchased, I don't remember exactly, but I believe with tax and shipping or whatever, all said and done out the door, it was like 50 or 60 bucks. So um, for 50 or 60 bucks, I am not upset with what I got. And uh, a lot of the stuff is useful. So to me, that's kind of priceless. Anyway, first off, one whole balaclava, okay? This is like a wool-ish feeling, one whole balaclava. I'm not exactly 100% sure it's country of origin. Uh, I lost the little receipt ticket slip in the box that uh, tells you all that stuff. I'm not 100% sure either if it is fire retardant, but I will tell you this, it's very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't smell weird, and uh, you got to have a one hole. You definitely got to have a one hole. It's a classic, and a classic never dies. Next up, of course, we have the Type 81 Pattern Shycom Chest Rig. This one specifically is the Stanag Pattern one, which uh, I am, forgive my ignorance, but I am not familiar with Shycom rigs being Stanag Pattern. I don't know if that means what I think it means, but the way that I take it is that it's made for M4 mags, which it's a Shycom rig, so, or Chicom rig, however you want to say it. Uh, I'm from Chirac, so I guess it's a Shycom rig, dude. You got to have the chopper out there with this thing loaded up. Um, but this is a solid piece of equipment. This is a real deal chest rig that has been used and uh, probably still used in many facets to this day. It's simple. You've got these little bamboo clasps um, to uh, contain your mags. <laughs> it's definitely, this is old school gear, and it's definitely not high speed, low drag. So if I was actually running this, I'd probably tuck these back and uh, just have the mags sticking out. And I feel like that's what most people are doing. But if you're, you know, fast roping out of a chopper or climbing the side of a cliff or something, maybe button down the hatches so you don't lose your equipment. But uh, this is still four mags across the front. And then you've got two little grenade pouches on either side, but you could stuff medical in there. You could stuff, you know, admin, leatherman, flashlight, whatever, pistol mags, whatever you want, and uh, carry a decent amount of equipment. Again, you could have three mags and a water bottle or three mags and a radio or whatever. You can set it up for modern use, even though this thing is old school. Um, 
it is completely adjustable, you know, X harness style, uh, as far as the shoulder straps are concerned. And then the waist strap, there's no swift clip buckle or Velcro or anything. You just tie that thing and, uh, might not be the easiest thing to do by yourself. Uh, especially in full kit, if you're wearing armor or something, but you could have your little battle buddy, uh, tie up your dress, zip up your dress, I guess. That being said, this is still pretty awesome because um, it's a functional piece of kit. It's something I'm actually going to use and stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, check all the comments pinned in the comment section below and the ones in the description box below, but I'll get to that later. Um, but this is actually going to be a rig that I set up. I'm a huge AK guy. I love AK-47 and 74 style rifles. And uh, I'm going to set this up for, you know, an AK rifle. And uh, we're going to have some traditional stuff going on with it. But it's still going to be a modern fighting load. And it's actually pretty cool because uh, not to shy away from Commando Store. But I just picked up another one of those from Venture Surplus. I didn't know that I would be getting one of these because obviously it's a surprise. It's a mystery. And uh, I've been wanting to set up, you know, a traditional Shycom rig uh, for an AK for a while. And so I just picked this one up. This one, I think, cost me $17, uh, if I remember correctly, from Venture Surplus, but don't quote me on it. And uh, this one, you do have a little assembly required and... Uh, got a little rust stains and stuff on there and it's a little bit faded it's a little bit of a different pattern you know this is i'm sure more for if this is a, if this one is actually made for stanag m4 mags this one 100 percent is for ak style mags i'm sure this one will fit a 545 and that's kind of what i was thinking 545 and then 76239 and uh it's gonna be sick next up we have this british desert dpm or whatever it is um BDU top or a combat style shirt and uh, it's super cool super duper freaking cool but doesn't fit okay <laughs> it's a little small I think it's a large and um, I'm six foot three so like it's not really gonna fit but I th still think it's cool uh, for sure it's got some IR reflective flags on here not flags but little glints on there you've got the British flag uh, which, you know, uh, we already settled that back in the day. You've got this little rat patch. I don't know exactly what that means uh, or what it stands for. If you guys in the comment section below let me know, that'd be good to go. Over on this side, ISAF, and it uh, looks like some Muslim writing or something. I assume this is from Afghanistan or Kuwait or you know, whatever at some point, uh, there's another flag and then the lighting is terrible right now. And then another IR glint. So this doesn't necessarily fit me and, uh, that's fine. Cause again, it's still cool to have in the collection, but as far as functionality, it's a good durable rip stop style material. Uh, I could cut this up. I could use it as scrim over a pack. I could use it, you know, to cover my rifle in. I could use it for cloths to clean my gun with if I needed to. Uh, but I don't necessarily think I want to butcher a nice piece like this. So uh, I'm just going to give it to whoever it fits that will actually wear it and use it because this is more than a valid enough camo pattern, uh, depending on where you live. You know, if you're in the city, maybe desert camo is probably not the way to go, but who knows? It is pretty drippy, though. And last but certainly not least, of course, waifu is laifu. And uh, we have this anime-inspired waifu commemorative t-shirt to the KA-137, which is like a chopper drone kind of you dig from my understanding. And, um, oh, there's the freaking pack and slip. Would you look at that? So actually, let's take a look at it. So Gumball Prize, Chinese Type 81 chest rig Stanag version. We've got Gumball Prize, Blem, KA-137, UAV, Atomonica T, okay? So it's a UAV, not a, not a drone, which I guess technically that's a drone. And uh, the British Unissued Lightweight Desert DPM Field Shirt and One Whole Balaclava. So I guess that, uh, that One Whole Balaclava is British, eh? Or whatever, that's Canadians. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, here is the Anime Waifu Shirt. And so it gives you a little description of everything that's going on it's actually pretty cool uh most people would not understand but uh you know i am always down for a good waifu t-shirt and uh it tells you all the features of the drone itself and then you've got your cute anime chick on the front to let 
everybody know that you don't talk to real girls. So there it is, folks, my gumball winnings from Commando Store. I'm not mad at it for the 50, 60 bucks, whatever it was that I spent. It was fun. I had the chance to win a $500 gift card, surplus nods. I believe they had a dual tube setup as well as a singular PVS-14. Could be wrong, but a bunch of other cool collectible stuff. Um useful stuff again this is like a 17 some odd dollar chest rig shycom whatever simple old school nothing crazy but works viable piece of kit if you're on a budget you can kit yourself out and get ready for the pending apocalypse um whatever we may be facing in the bleak future uh ahead of us you can kit yourself out easily on a budget at Commando Store or Venture Surplus or any of those places like that um, because, again, it's good quality stuff. It might not be the latest and greatest, but it works, and it has worked. And uh, I think the gumball gig is working on me because the next one that they do, I'm definitely getting in on it and probably each and every one after that because it's cool, it's fun. I used to do like the LA police gear mystery box things or whatever, and uh, I think they still do those, but I just kept getting med kits, which is good, it's awesome, but uh, I buy that stuff on a regular basis anyway, so it wasn't as fun. This is fun, this is exciting, and I'm into all this cool different random stuff, different gear uh, from around the world, and, and see how they do it, you know, differently than us, or, or whatever it may be, different camo patterns, different chest rigs, backpacks, the whole kit and caboodle, and either way, I'm going to quit yakking at you, but uh, in case you guys weren't aware of Commando Store or their little gumball giveaways, uh, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe.